found it's Friday. You made it through a week. Good job. I'm Sabrina Galvan with the Greenfield Union School District, ready to read your bedtime story for this week and congratulate you on doing a really great job. Today, tonight, we get to read Happy Dreamer. And I want to give you some ideas about what to dream tonight so that you can remember how great you are, boys and girls. So this story encourages your readers, you out there, to dream big and think of all the wonderful things that are going to happen to you because you're studying and learning and growing and getting smarter. So, Happy Dreamer is today's story by Peter Reynolds. Hola, comunidad de Greenfield. Soy Superintendente Galván, lista para leer esta historia con ustedes y felicidades. Ustedes ya terminaron una semana más de aprendizaje con los maestros. So, gracias por, por estar con nosotros cada día. Y hoy vamos a leer uh, Sueños uh, Felices de un Niño. Vamos a leer y antes de que ustedes pueden dormir, quiero que ustedes en sus mentes piensen en todo lo bonito, todos los sueños que tienen ustedes para hacer uh, lo que quieran cuando avanzan y crezcan aquí con ustedes. So, con nosotros y con ustedes. So, aquí estamos leyendo Happy Dreamer and Happy Friday to you. So, here we go. Story is written by Peter Reynolds. I am a happy dreamer. I'm really good at dreaming. Daydreams, big dreams, little dreams, and creative dreams. Ooh, dreamer Maximus. Ooh, that's cool. Sometimes the world tells me, sit still, be quiet, pay attention, focus. Oh, does the world tell you that too? Yeah, they tell me too. But my dreams have a mind of their own. Sometimes my mind just takes flight. I hear a beat and I've got to move. Then I hear another and another beat. Let's see what the beats tell us. Ooh, wish you could hear what's inside my head. Trippity, zigzag, jazz. Sometimes I'm a quiet and hear myself think to let go and see what takes shape. Do you see that? Oh, he's laying in the backyard or the front grass and looking up at the clouds. You should do that. Grab somebody in your family and just lay down on the ground in front of your house or behind your house and just look up at the sky when it's cloudy and notice what you see. Sometimes you'll see a horse or a pig, or different things in the clouds. That's kind of cool. Sometimes I'm a swing high dreamer, way up high beyond the clouds. So high I can almost touch the sky. I can also be a loud dreamer. Hello world! I'm a shout at the top of my lungs dreamer. Even if I'm just as loud inside my head, dreamer. Sometimes I'm a colorful dreamer, painting my own path full of surprises at every turn. This weekend you can get out your crayons that your teacher sent you or your markers and paint a picture of your colorful dreams. I can dream even when the lights are out. All circuits on, fireworks! I light up, I'm all ears, eyes, heart, and mind. Ooh, that's a cool picture. I had so many dreams, it can get messy. Creative chaos is what I say. Cleaning up hides my treasures. If you make me, I will put my things away. But then there is less of me to show. That's a good point to our parents. Sometimes we need to let our children have that creative mess. Let them put the blocks out, let them put the things out, and then later, after they're done having their fun, then they can clean up. But let them have their space. I need to remember that as a mom too. There are the moments I feel alone, I feel boxed in, and yet I always find a way back plunging into amazing, delightful, happy dreams. I'm really good at being me. 
A dreamer, surprising, caring, funny, gentle, smart. And when I tumble back to earth, I know I'm okay. Dreamers have a way of bouncing back and moving forward. Oh my goodness, it's a big page. Look at this, boys and girls. There are so many ways to be a happy dreamer. Whoa, look at this. I didn't know that. Look it, you can be a sweet dreamer, a sunny dreamer, a floating dreamer, a wild dreamer, a love dreamer, a crazy dreamer, a power dreamer, a civic dreamer, vote for me, a secret dreamer, shh, a secret, a dizzy dreamer, art dreamer, a celebration dreamer. You could be so many different ways to be a dreamer. That's awesome. But the best way to be a happy dreamer is to just be you, which is why this book is dedicated to you. Yes, you. Aw, that's a great story before you start your weekend. So happy Friday night. I hope you dream tonight after you listen to this dream, dream uh, bedtime story of all the wonderful things that you can do in your life. So thanks so much for joining us today. Happy Dreamer was our book today. I'm Superintendent Gama with the Greenfield School District. So happy to read you a bedtime story tonight. Wishing you a really great weekend with your family. And we'll see you on Monday. Sending a great big bear hug from our family to yours. <laughs>